show us a little bit. One of the sleeves. You got to have them both. Yeah. Oh, it is chilly out there. 13 degrees was our low temp this morning in Des Moines. But look what happened to the north. Spencer and Mason City, they were close to zero. And these were just the low temperatures. We had enough of a breeze out there from the north to make it feel even colder. The wind is still a little bit brisk. Here in Des Moines, still coming in about 12 miles per hour, giving us a wind chill of zero. But in northern Iowa, wind chills are still below zero. And earlier this morning, they were near 20 below. So at least things are improving somewhat, but you still need the warm winter coats and definitely the mittens if you're going to be spending time outdoors today or tonight. Temperatures won't be changing much this afternoon. The clouds will be thinning out, so we may make it up to 20 degrees. That's still about 20 degrees colder than where we should be. And overnight lows dip back near 10. Starting out tomorrow, very chilly with wind chills a problem, but a rapid warm up is on the way for our Tuesday, and we could sure use it. Right now in Des Moines, we have clouds and 14 degrees, a brisk wind, and a wind chill of zero degrees. We've been dealing with these clouds drifting in here from the west, and at times even a few snow flurries have been found across far southern Iowa. No accumulation is likely from this, and any precipitation today is going to stay off to the south. We do have pretty quiet weather, but this is Arctic high pressure, so we'll be glad to say goodbye to this guy as he slides up to the east. Tomorrow we'll have an increasing south wind ahead of a weak system. Now, any precip with this will be staying up closer to Minneapolis and over toward Wisconsin in the form of some snow. Then our wind is going to shift back around, but really, quiet weather continues throughout much of the week. There is a chance for possibly a couple of flurries up across Minnesota again as we head toward Thursday. That's just about it. Today, there's a lot of cold air in the region. High temperatures in Minnesota. Minnesota won't even make it to double digits today. Tomorrow, everybody enjoys a warming trend here. 30s back on the forecast map here for Iowa, and even welcome 50s return to Nebraska. So for today, highs will be close to 20 degrees. Really, no big warm up in store today. Not as windy as yesterday, so that will make a big difference. But still, stay bundled up. The evening commute should be very smooth. We're not expecting any precipitation, but if you have the heated seats, you're going to want to turn them on as temperatures will be close to 18 sunset. At this evening at 445. Overnight lows headed back to 10 degrees. But with a little bit of a breeze coming in from the southeast, those wind chills will still be near zero degrees. They're going to have to keep the warm blankets on. Tomorrow we're headed for 35 in the afternoon. That will feel much better. Plus, the sunshine makes a big difference this time of year. Although we'll have a gusty south wind, tomorrow at least the sunshine will make it feel better. Temperatures hover close to average readings right through Friday. High temperatures mid to upper 30s, overnight lows into the lower to middle 20s. And we're expecting mainly quiet weather at least through the first part of the weekend by Sunday into Monday. There are indications that we may see some drizzle, maybe some light rain, and that's because temperatures will be in the 40s. And I did peek ahead to next week, and it looks like temperatures remain above average as we head toward the second week of December, too. So maybe this month will bring us some treats and not tricks. There you go. You can tell a lot of people got their Christmas lights up, oh, didn't they, right. this weekend? On Saturday so, when it was warm. They were smart. Good. Thanks yeah. a lot, Matinka.